Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a tour of the Disney Wish Cruise Line connecting rooms, rooms 60, 66, and 68. We are a family of six. I'm pretty sure both of these rooms could have fit a total of eight people in these connecting rooms. So I'm going to give you a tour and give you my overview of the rooms. Um, we were on a three night uh, cruise, and I honestly think that we could have done without the balcony because we were hardly in our rooms. But anyway, I'll give you guys a tour of what this room looks like with uh, Veranda in both rooms all right so this is room 6066 here's the bathroom well okay so th this is like the one with the toilet um they've got the sea salt stuff that people rave about i don't know why but there's that what is that out there and then this is the one with the shower it has a bathtub for those parents that have little ones that need a bathtub um again we got connecting rooms uh, so i'll show you the other room this is 6066 the other one is 6068 and what's really cool about this is that it has like these drop downs on both sides of the room which is really really cool so here's like just backing up you can see that if i close this uh, oh these are life jackets apparently so there's that and then you've got the closet light and it has a light right inside of it then you've got this bed and there's tons of storage down here so that your luggage is in the way. They welcome your name. Lorelai, like, open the door. And then you got this bed. This is the frozen room. Lola, look, look, it's a frozen room. And then you've got this shelving. Who is that, Conrad? And then you've got this area here. bag hasn't come yet? All right, so then you've got there's a balcony curtain light, ceiling mirror. Okay. And then let me look at the outlets. Let's see where the outlets are. There's outlets over here and over here, which is cool. And then this is the frozen room. And then you got storage here. Our stateroom attendant actually asked us if we wanted this room to be set up for kids or the other one to be set up for kids. So I'll, a lot of online websites actually say that they, this room uh, and the other room hold two, but they both actually hold four. So he asked if we wanted to have this bed set up along with the sofa, and I said no. But it has the option to be set up as a Murphy bed, which is really, really great if you're looking for a bigger room that fits eight people. So this... These are connecting rooms. There's two doors, and this there's a magnet right there that opens the door. And kids, this is room 60, 66, and then you can see again. There's a Murphy bed down here. Um, they haven't converted it yet. This is our second sailing, so apparently they give us like bags or whatever here. Um, you can see that this is the bed. Again, I think it's the same setup, but like switching size kids are already making a mess and then um, any room credits that you have are right here and then you can see here this is the bathtub with the shower um, the shower just a shower head there and then the sink same setup here right and then you've got the bathroom again um, a bunch of hooks and then if we go out to the balcony, let's see what's in the balcony. And I think you can actually open up the balcony. So I open up this door. This is what the balcony looks like. And then this door I'm assuming opens. Um, and so we just need to wait for our stateroom attendant to open it. So our stateroom attendant was around and he was able to unlock um, the balcony uh, divider, which is great. It gave us a little bit more real estate um, on the balcony uh, so that our kids uh, could walk back and forth from the balcony. And then since this is our second sailing, we were silver castaway members. So that meant that we got these free bags for free, which is great. Um, we weren't expecting it and those lanyards came in handy. Our uh, balcony didn't have any obstruction, but you can see uh, what you can see out of our balcony there. And then this is what the bed looks like when it's all set up for sleeping. Uh, we have the queen bed where two of our kids were, and then you'll also see uh, the bed that's at the very top, which is a bunk bed, and then the sofa turns into like a mattress uh, that our kids can sleep in. And she's like 13, or I mean, she's 11, and so she fit there just fine. I mean, there were no complaints. The kids fought around who would get the top bunk, but 
overall, um, it was a, a great accommodation for us. The beds aren't as comfortable as the Disney Dream, as I remember. So just FYI, even though it's a newer ship, the beds aren't as comfortable. Um, one other thing is that the ladder is stored in uh, the closet and your stateroom attendant will get it out. This uh, top bunk actually has a light. And so if you are unaware, now you're aware, which is uh, great for those kids who like to uh, read at night. Um, on vacation. Uh, but our kids absolutely loved uh, the little animals that our stateroom attendant created uh, out of the footer foot like blanket. And it always had chocolate that came with it. But it was just really fun, especially if you leave out uh, sunglasses, he'll put the sunglasses on or she will put sunglasses on um, any like goose or swan that they create. So the creations are pretty cute um, and they do it uh, generally right, right after dinner. These are fish extenders. This is a non-Disney thing. It's for like Disney fans. And so if you find a Facebook group that has your sailing, there's always someone coordinating a fish extender. And what you do is you buy these off of Etsy and then you coordinate uh, gifts for all the rooms that are participating. And generally there's like 10 or less rooms and it's really fun to see like how people decorate their rooms. People go all out, including lights like this one. Um, and then the kids, have an absolute blast opening these gifts. So overall, I absolutely loved our room. I loved the floor. I thought I would hate having the bottom most um, guest floor. And to be honest, we were going to Oceaneers Club a lot and going to the main floor a lot, which meant that we could take the stairs. And the elevators on this Disney Wish are known to be very narrow and annoying uh, to get on. And so I thought our room floor was absolutely wonderful. Here's the only downside to this room. Okay, so this room is on the port side instead of the starboard side. Why that's important is if you're, we're like standing right now as you're watching this pirate show, um, the pirate show is on the 11th floor where the main poles are, right? And so the fireworks, if you're facing, are going to be on the uh, starboard side. So on the right. So if you're facing the theater, it's going to be on the right. And so if you have kids that fall asleep and you still want to see the fireworks from your room, they generally tell you to go into your room if you're uh, not watching the fireworks show. But let's say you wanted to see them out of your balcony, you won't be able to on the port side. In addition to that, you won't be able to have a view of Castaway K or Castaway Key, however you want to pronounce it. And so Castaway K, uh, you will not be able to see. Other than that, I thought the uh, rooms were just perfect for our family. And if you like videos like this, make sure you click on the bell to get notifications the next time I create new videos and subscribe. Uh, because on this channel, we talk all about family vacations and our honest reviews of what we thought and any tips we could pass along for your own trip uh, with your family.